Here's another special moment at an NFL game as a soldier surprises his family during the Packers Bucks game in Tampa. We'll never get sick of these moments ever. Happy holidays, everyone. A family whose dad is serving in Afghanistan this Christmas decided to welcome home other soldiers, lucky enough to make it home for the holiday. But the best present of all was making his way down the jetway. <laughs> First Lieutenant Kenyon Nelson of the Army Reserves has been deployed in Afghanistan since February, but his commanding officer saw to it that he made it home before Christmas. And his wife saw to it that the kids had no idea. Nelson spending his first moments with the kids he hadn't seen in nearly a year. 16-year-old Savion, 13-year-old Ajani in tears, and a long hug for the youngest, 9-year-old Kadir. Veronica Velasquez is here to pick up her fifth grader, but today it's a very special surprise. They haven't seen each other in a year since Velasquez was deployed to Afghanistan. I missed everything about her, her voice, and her seeing her face every day. That was the first thing that came to my mind was always my kids. The surprise was planned by Victor Sosa, Velasquez's sister's boyfriend, a college student who's helped take care of Jamie while her mom's been away. Jamie wasn't expecting her mother until next week. It's indescribable um, being away from someone you love with all your heart, like a mom. She didn't even see the birth of her grandkid. That's why I wanted to do it so bad for her. I know the sacrifice personally from my family and just seeing the sacrifice from her family and. It makes everything worth it. That sacrifice for her country, taking the single mother of three halfway around the world, her kids counting the days to see her again. What are your fears when she's away? Um, that she doesn't get shot or anything. Because I will miss her. Velasquez is back for two weeks, then headed to base in New York. She has another year and a half of military service and then hopes to see her kids grow up, not via Skype, but in person. Yeah, you got taller. Birthdays, holidays, just pretty much I miss everything for a whole year. It's time that I can't really make up, but just spend more time with them. In Pacoima, Rudabe Shabazi, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Mayo. I think that will make you smile. Though. Get out of the way. Oh. 
Who is that? Oh, oh, she gave you sugars. Good girl. You know, I, I, I really don't think I should present this award to us. And I have somebody that I would really like to present this award to you. And that person is PFC Sean Dasher. <laughs> I can tell you from experience, homecomings at Marine Corps Air Station Yuma are always emotional. But today's military homecoming was especially touching. Your local news reporter Patrick Hayes was there. And Patrick, what made this reunion so very special? Anna, today was a big day for all the Marines now home from Afghanistan. And two of the Devil Dogs were anxious to meet a couple of new additions to their families. Um, it's been interesting. <laughs> it's been very tasking. Sabrina Willis has been waiting about five months to see her husband. But three-month-old Marie has been waiting her whole life to meet her dad. Willis told me her husband was able to witness the birth of their daughter via Skype. Yes, <laughs> lots of pictures and videos. Um, as soon as he gets home, just hang out, I guess you could say. I'll help him learn the ways of fatherhood. <laughs> Carrie Marquez shared that same sentiment. Her son Nicholas was born a couple months into her husband's deployment. <laughs> Once the Marines of Squadron VMA-311, a.k.a. the Tomcats, were released from formation, they hurried to find their friends and family. What's up, bro? No words. No words. I don't know. You do. Little Nicholas finally met his father. And Corporal Marquez wasn't the only one at a loss for words. Um... There's really no describing it. It's just a moment of extreme happiness, and I'm just happy to be home with my daughter and my wife and ready to actually start my family. Reporting for your local news. Awesome. I'm Patrick Hayes. Thank <laughs> you. 